Don't worry about the Knicks, cause it's your boy Chris with the Knicks. Alright, so here I'm coming with a quick video. Because again, like I said, adult life takes over. Um, I just wanted to talk about the whole um, Caitlyn Nicole Davis situation. The 12 year old girl, girl from Georgia who hung herself live on a Facebook, the Facebook streaming. Um, and the reason why I want to talk about it because I feel like this is an ongoing pattern, not only with the Facebook Live um, suicide thing. Because there was a guy who uh, he was 22 years old, and he was heartbroken, and he killed himself on um, Facebook Live streaming. Not only that, but it's just the whole reason why she did it. And some people keep saying, oh, maybe she was just a brat and she got what she wanted and she was just acting out. But when I saw her, the outside of her house, like the living of it, I highly doubt that because it looked very ran down. It looked very, some what some people might say, trailer trash. So I highly doubt she was a brat. A lot of people say that she got abused by her stepfather. Correct. She got abused by her stepfather, and her mother pretty much didn't care. Now, I feel like a lot of you mothers have that Mary, the mother from Precious mentality. You know, who's going to love me at night? Who's going to touch me? Uh, this man, to, uh, you know, he was my man, and he, she, my daughter took him away. I feel like a lot of you have that. And this is why a lot of these sickos, these pedophiles, they end up dating these mothers because they feel like, oh, I could pray on them. And a lot of these, I mean, a stepmother, stepfathers, pray on these single mothers because they know they are vulnerable. Most, not all of you stepmothers, but some of you are very vulnerable. And if you let your child get abused just because you want to get uh, your back blown out at night, you are very sick and you need to you need to be thrown out of jail just as well his ass needs to be thrown out of jail because I'm seeing this is an ongoing pattern an ongoing um, this is continuing to happen a lot of kids go through this not only female but male as well because a lot of these pedophiles start to date you single mothers <clears throat> and most of you mothers don't do nothing about it. And sorry that this girl had to go through this. You know, she felt like this was her only way out. You know, and she seemed like she was kind of grown up fast too, because she was only she was only twelve years old. And the pictures that they showing, she has a face full of makeup on. Like how they say, beat to capacity. And that's how she was. And I don't know if the stepfather was buying it for her. Maybe, like, in the beginning, he was about it for her, I guess, you know, you know, so he could play up on his sick fantasy. And then this girl ended up taking her life because she was getting abused. And her own mother did not do anything. And that goes back to the song, um, Reflections by Mariah Carey. She says in the song, um, if I'm not quite good enough or somehow undeserved of a motherly love... You could have had the decency to give me hope before you gave me life. And some of you so-called mothers, so-called fathers, that is a good line you need to listen to. Because I feel like a lot of these people just having kids just to be having kids, man. Just to stay on EBT just so they won't work or just so, you know, just for beneficial reasons and not for love. <clears throat> And there's another photo that I saw on Facebook of this man, this low-down, dirty nigga. He had a bottle. He had a bottle, and it was placed around. He placed it around his um, lower area, and he was feeding a bottle. Um, he was feeding his newborn baby a, a, a bottle of milk, but he had a place where his things that and acting like he was gonna sucked up and I didn't think nothing was funny about that photo and if the step if the mother took that photo 
they need to be investigated. As you can see the photo, like I said, they need to be investigated because I'm pretty sure he's the stepfather. I'm pretty sure that ain't none of his child. Or even if it is, that makes it even worse. You know, like that was nothing funny about that photo. And that's what I'm saying. You need, a lot of you females need to watch out. These niggas you let up in your house. You need to watch out and, and, and scan these people before you bring your child around them. And don't be leaving your child home alone. Dude. You can't be trusting them on the first, you know, on the first week of dating, on the first month of dating. Because there's a lot of stories where these stepfathers is raping. It's raping these girls, raping these boys, raping your kids. And someone ain't gonna say this because they're scared of you, know. And you may not do nothing about it, or they try to discipline your child. Like, no, you need to watch out for that. And if you don't do nothing about it, like I said, you just as sick as Mary was and precious, and your ass need to be thrown out of jail and get the fullest extent of the book thrown at you, just like his ass is gonna get done. Because once he go to prison, and they find out you were short eyes, which is slave for pedophile, they go fuck you up. So keep that in mind. Anyways, this will be your boy, Chris with the X. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment sections in below, which you want me to talk about. And I'll be back to you soon. Goodbye.